Lincoln 180 welder out here, Weld Pack. Getting ready to finish up this welding on this truck. We got some spots that just were never complete, so we're gonna, like here, we're gonna weld it up under this. We got welded up. Um, I feel like around the drive, the rear end, we gotta weld up. So, um, it's gonna be a fun day welding on this rig so um we're just gonna go through and double check everything may lay a bead there um 100 bucks a day on my rentals though i told mar 100 bucks a day to be on my rentals um don't know if he's thinking i'm joking but took the tailgate off my rig cleaned out the pine needles before we start welding on this got a lot of little spots little holes we're gonna weld today and around the door we took the tailgate off we got several spots on that we're gonna weld up um before we paint it take the mirrors off to paint mash those we have a four inch cow like i've said before and other videos for this thing um so we have that going for us and new fenders that we had bought right here we gotta weld these holes in because i'm not running badges so we're gonna get to it Oh, got the kid flapping a well that the gravity had took pretty now. Yeah. You're like some okay dude. Not too bad for that's like going bad when he's flapping that. But we laid some okay beads for not picking up a welder in a hot minute. I just lay that more. But yeah, some okay beads for not picking up a welder in a hot minute. So they're out best, but It'll get them through. 400 horse in this thing. It'll get them through. I ain't gonna break it. So now we're gonna move my tailgate back here and fenders and start welding them. So we got the back side of this tailgate. We tack these little small holes. I'm gonna make it all waterproof. And uh, the reason that we're really doing it was because uh, we had went to a show last year in Springfield. Took a trailer. It was way too small for what we were hauling. But oh well, got a. Broke a brake line, showed up late, whatever. And blah, blah, you know. So we had a, one was 10 pieces on the back side of this. It rubbed up, left a lot of scratch marks on it. I was like, screw that. We're just going to take it off, see what the cell gate looks like. And it was pretty meant. So we just decided to do this. So better than uh, paying. So and we're going to grind these down and the cell gate will be ready for paint. All right. So we'll weld in those holes because I'm not running nothing there. I think they look goofy when you're trying to have something nice to make it all smooth. Tailgate's done. Ready to go. Drop the Mars down. We got a, there's a spot that the lift bad could get to. So we're going to drop down, check from the top too. Uh, see what's left on it. And then next thing I got to do is jump on mine again on the actual truck. You got to start cutting plates filling in other holes but while uh, i think that one was good more while he does that though i'm gonna go get a water break and get back to welding on this little lincoln the little lincoln that could my little penny so we are back on this thing now we're actually gonna be filling in these holes uh these cap holes hole in the bed then uh see what we can do here this is the worst part of it all um yeah not a fan of that but you gotta worry about these vendors or this hood so and we need to take these mirrors off because i want to paint match them uh oh this spot too i need to clean that up real quick before we get welding and uh i don't know what's happening with the banana boat at the moment but who cares it's the banana boat all right guys so we are going to update you with what we got going on so we filled all the holes in so, gonna flap them down. They are all done. We decided to leave those two, just paint them black like the rest. Cause I have two up there, I don't know if you can see them. And this bed frame, real, the bed rail, you know, has some over there, we'll just paint that black. But now we're onto these stake pockets. So, I cut it, and we're gonna hold this in there and weld it, but it needs a little trimming up on this end. And we'll take a body hammer and flatten that out for one, two. But a little trimming, 
and then that's why we got our uh, this hander out here ready to go a little harbor freight special what do you know about it so uh marcella took out these mounts back here um they were on here i guess whatever didn't want them and uh we're not going to take this out because we are going to leave it for a safety loop for a drive shaft if ever need it kind of got one uh, we can build something else too um but we had to weld some more things on it so not looking too shabby i think these are the best welds i did on it this one and this coming down but yeah we are definitely knocking some stuff out today after this so i'm probably gonna call the day on the prep because all that's really left i feel like for this take the mirrors off start taping everything bondo getting it done and then blasting off everything in the shop and getting ready for paint and we have to still do some floor pans on that for more uh the banana boat is the official name for it it is the og banana boat yellow uh, i think we're gonna matte black everything the bumper of the grill uh it's gonna have led lights in it um door handles i think we're gonna get a matte black pair we need to get this patch this and i think we're gonna get some wheels he's gonna get some wheels like the same ones i'm running because they just look killer on here uh the tailgate uh i think i don't know if they mm -hmm. want to do it but i think what we should do is it obviously shows chevrolet on it uh it's back in here but i think we should paint it tape it off and paint it black i mean I'll even pay for the paint if that's what we got to do because it'll just look killer. And we're going to matte black the cage. Um, it's going to be badass, I think, to be honest. I think we're going to do like a 454 in it. Pretty, uh, not like anything crazy, just like an original one for time being. Uh, so, yeah, we really, wiring harnesses right now, guys, are on sale at speedway.com. Um, we're going to probably buy a new one for this. Been thinking about ordering a new front bumper for this thing though from uh Veneta Fab since we're painting it, but I don't know. We'll we'll play it by ear. So the custom stake pocket covers are done. So they're tacked in. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Tacked in. Um really happy that one gave me a little bit of a this is the first one we did. So we just gotta go around and tack them. This one I think's got the biggest gap on it, but no biggie. Really, really happy with how it all turned out. So now we gotta tack that in. We're gonna flap everything down and uh, probably call it a day, really. Um, I got my tailgate to flap down over there too. So we can uh, focus. So, and where we did weld in those fenders i did run some primer on them because they are primered um they're done with the gun um so then i guess that leads to when i come back to the shop which hopefully will be i don't know monday we can get to work and really seriously on this thing and the banana boat this kid's back here still cleaning up the front we just caught on fire Nah, looks a little rough, but you know, flap disc take care of it. You gotta kiss, keep tacking it. You know, I think that's 20 gauge, probably like 22 gauge. You know, I really don't know. Don't don't quote me. I'm, I'm I didn't build this thing back in 1974. You know, I'm I'm not an automotive worker, so uh, we gotta finish this one, that one, and that one. This one was just going so smooth, and I was getting pretty good. Oh, uh, there's a little void there, so we're gonna hit that, and after that. I'm probably going to call her good. I really wish you guys could see me, you know, welding in action, but someone's back here, the film man, one of the film man, you know, that we have at Minty Garage Productions, you know, is working on his own stuff, and no one else is here today. They're all, like, out doing hood rat stuff, I think. So, uh, yeah, and she's not a good filmer, so we've already been down that road. So, uh, yeah, this, uh, we're going to get out of here. All right, so I'm going to call it a day. 
little rough, but it's pretty low, so a light skim bondo ought to do the job. On the little pocket holder. So, so all I have left now is that. One, two, three, four, five on there. I have the tailgate left. And after that, uh, Monday, he's gonna grab some Bondo and get really after it, so. And I made a call that we're just gonna paint those black. And the banana boat's still up. Getting the frame clean. Now next, uh, on Monday, we're gonna get some Bondo. And I'm gonna take this front clip off. We got the four inch hood. We gotta slot these hinges. So it actually shuts right on the body line. And, uh, and then after that, we're really just gonna start getting to town, take the front clip off and rock and roll on her. And uh, the banana boat's coming hard back there. All right, so we just made it back to Dittmer. Uh We are in the shop now. Let's uh, give you a quick update on the 69 C10. Bedsides are off, my rentals are hanging. Uh, that light's pretty bright. Um, yeah, so looking pretty spiffy, I'd say, you know. Um, other bedside. Man, dude, it's black and yellow, it looks good. I guess Mars cleaning up the frame. As we can tell, we're in POR 15 it. Uh, here's some Chris <laughs> chassis works. Mm. What a rate we have here. But this is where I got to get back to today. So today, the agenda is to take this hood off for sure. Um, kind of a late start. Uh, had to do some running after work. Uh, take this off and maybe these fenders. So, and we got to slot these hinges for to fit the four inch cow that we have and once i do that uh i gotta talk to my dad see if we get the bondo or what because i know these look like shit guys but they're still low enough where it'll just light skim bondo you can see it dips right there so it'll be all good we'll get through this together one way or another I'm not a body guy but I'm not paying someone to do it, so let's get started. So me and Mar had got the hood off now. Ten minutes later, so we're gonna start messing with these fenders. See what we can do. Hmm. What a bad sign. Okay, so we had took out the headlight bezels. There's these four screws. Well, five. Sorry, I can't count. Uh, you would understand if you went to the same school I went to. But anyway, the only reason I said four was because I just got done doing the side really, and um. Uh, this one was missing vibrated out you know that old uh, hefty motor there doing the work on those open headers uh so really should probably order me a new set of headlights i've been looking at the veneta fab ones for a hot minute now and uh maybe i'll do that if i work some overtime but now we're gonna get back to this fender um this cuts out so the marker light should be fine but uh, we will see, I guess. I'm looking for more bolts right now as we speak. Okay, right, so let me update you. So the passenger fender is off. And then we had to hook the jack up. Because you can get this bolt out up here. So put a little fucking crease in the door. It's not bad. Just looks like the soft paint had one end. We'll fix that. So, got a few bolts on the fender, though I had to go eat some dinner, but now I know what I'm doing. So, we are ready to rumble. All right, so now we got this side off. And this side had all the bolts in it, so of course it was a little harder than the other side. But now we ran into another issue. We got to replace this. Uh, 
core support because a little rust. So, and we should just replace this battery tray. Had this junk mat in it that's holding moisture. But other than that, looks pretty, pretty okay. Not bad, not bad. So, and the banana boat's on the lift behind me, like we already showed you guys. So, yeah, in the next video, we will be, I guess, replacing the core support or getting this bondoed and ready to paint and spray and taped off. But till then, tune into the shorts. Then do that big kind of family.